Today I'm going to show you how to create a digital mosaic on the iPad using Google Draw. But before we can get started, you need to save a few images onto your camera roll that you would like to use for this project. My example has big blocks of solid color. Using Safari, go into Google, then type in Google Draw. From the results, you are going to choose the Google Drawings. Once the program opens, you are going to choose the tool called Polyline. With that tool, you are going to be able to draw shapes using either your finger or a stylus. The tools that you will use are that pencil icon, which is called the border color. You can choose any of the colors around it, or you can make your border transparent. In addition, you can choose your fill color. The fill color will fill in the shape that you've made. You're going to try to match your fill color as close as possible to your picture color. This will create a realistic image. That was an explanation of just the tools. Now we're going to get started. On the top of the Google Draw document, you are going to title it your name and either digital mosaic or whatever you'd like to call your file. You're going to go to the shape icon at the top and choose a rectangle. Once you drag your rectangle to fill the space, then you're going to choose what color you want to be behind all of the shapes that you're going to create. I'm going to choose black as my background. The black will show through where you have space in between your shapes that you're creating. To add your image, go to Insert, Image, and Upload from your computer. Go to your photo library and choose the image that you would like to use as your reference. Once your image is inserted, you're going to drag your image from the corners only. If you have a little bit of extra black or whatever color you've chosen for your background on both sides, that is okay. Now you're going to go up to the top. Next to the arrow is a little line tool. You're going to go all the way down to the poly line. I've actually created a little bit of a background with some of the shapes. I'm not going to walk you through that step by step because later I'm going to end up taking all those shapes away. I've chosen a brown that's as close to the ear as I can get. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the word custom and then I'm going to be able to choose any other brown that I would like. You can try a few different colors out until you get the perfect match. Now that I have a brown that I'm happy with, I'm going to start making additional shapes. The nice thing is that once you get the color that you like, every shape that you make, it saves the color that you've used before underneath that custom label. You may also be noticing that next to the paint bucket on the top is the pencil that has a black line under it. That means that my shapes are outlined in black. And that's okay because my background is going to be black. Now if your background color is a different color other than your outline color, whatever color is outlining your shapes will show up against that background. Now I'm going to hit the selection tool which is the arrow. Then I'm going to click onto the photograph, go to edit, and hit cut. This will allow you to see what your mosaic pieces look like so far. Another trick you can do is to make a shape, hit the word copy, and then paste that same shape onto your image. Just make sure that you are not copying and pasting the same shape more than a few times. Now go to the top and click the word view. Then click onto the word zoom. This will allow you to continue to draw shapes in smaller areas of your photo. I would suggest 200% and then if you wanted to go even closer you can zoom in from there. When using the selection tool, remember to use at least two fingers to move your screen around. Sometimes creating the shapes with the polyline doesn't go as planned. If that happens, you can create your shape, close it, and then just hit the back button and it will erase that shape and you can start over again. You can keep checking your progress by going to edit and then cut and then undo. By undoing, your photograph will reappear on top of your mosaic pieces. 
I know that creating all of these shapes are going to take a long time. I also noticed that after I created the eyebrows and the eyelashes, I realized that they weren't going to show up on a black background. So I went ahead and changed them to a dark brown. If that happens to you, all you have to do is go to your image and select that shape and just change the color. Another tool you can use is the curve tool and that will allow you to get rounded edges. The curve tool was used around the chin to give a rounded shape instead of a pointed one. Again, just like in my nose, if I chose black for the black nose, it wouldn't show up. So I chose a dark brown. Here are a lot more shapes that I've created, but I want to show you how to take out that background that I don't want anymore. I'm going to create a polyline over the whole section and turn it black. The large black shapes will just blend into the background. Now here's my mosaic with most of it done. I can go back and make any of my shapes smaller or fill in any of the gaps that I choose. 